welcome back to the channel now in this video we are going to discuss about combining the index and match function now why do we combine index and match function together there are several reasons now index and match functions individually they are very important but when you combine them together it become a very powerful tool to help use the lookup functions okay now if you are already acquainted with vlookup you would know that to for a vlookup to function properly the lookup value has to be to the leftmost column of the lookup array or data right now if you are not acquainted with vlookup you can go back check my video on vlookup and come back so that you have a better understanding now the disadvantage of h lookup is when you are using an h lookup function like the vlookup the data has to be on the leftmost uh, column of the lookup array for h lookup again the lookup value has to be on the top row of the lookup array so these are the limitations of using vlookup this is where index and match function if they come together they can overcome the shortcomings of a vlookup or an h lookup function okay now i had discussed about index and match functions independently if you have not watched that you can go back watch that video and come back so that you have a fair idea of index and match function and what it does now to give you the context index function returns the value of a cell at the intersection of a particular row or column similarly a match function returns the numeric position of a specified value within a one dimensional array now we'll see how we can use them in an example now if you look at this example we have got a small data right we have got employee name department employee id salary and experience now here towards the right you are creating a small dashboard okay now in that that dashboard that is the employee name and its experience you need to fill them up now how do you do that now out here naturally my lookup value would be the employee id but here as you can see the employee id column is not the leftmost column of the data okay it's somewhere in the middle right again employee name is to the left of employee id which makes things more complex now this is where combining index and match function together will help you in determining whatever you need now combining index and match function not only overcomes the uh, limitations of view lookup but it, it also helps you in a bit of automation you know when you are using vlookup say you are creating a database something like this and where in and in that database or in that dashboard rather you need to use multiple vlookup formulas right now in each of the case you need to rewrite the entire vlookup because the column index number they have to be entered manually but out here what we are going to see is not only does it overcome the limitations of vlookup but it also makes things much easier for you if you are using multiple lookup functions in your data or in your dashboard right so to start with let's head over to let's say i wish to find out the uh, employee name of e003 right just one name then i'll start with the index function function now once again what was index what was the role of index function index function returns the value of a cell at the intersection of a particular row or column okay so basically i want to give index a row a column and i need its value out of it or whatever is there in there now to start with let's get a visual effect of this we'll go to the effects button we'll use the first one and click okay so what does index function asks from us so first it needs the array right in our case this would be the array so i'll press control shift down arrow and right arrow to select the entire thing then i'll fix it give it an absolute referencing i'll press the f4 key if the shortcut does not work you can manually type dollar sign in front of the rows and columns now the interesting part now it wants to know the row number 
right so i know employee e003 is out there in the employee id column but i do not know in which row it resides so what do we do here we bring in a match function why because if you remember a match function does somewhat the opposite of index it returns the numeric position of a specified value within a one dimensional array right so i'll type match function then i'll go up to the formula bar click on the match and then you will see the function argument window for match function opens up right now here what is my lookup value the lookup value is the employee id in this case it's e003 or the contents of cell h1 right i'll just fix it there i'll make an absolute referencing why i'll tell you later then comes the lookup array so in which array or where do i find the employee id so in our case it's in column number c so i'll select the entire lookup array once again let's give it an absolute reference and the match type in our case we need an exact match i'll type 0 okay so what's 0 1 minus 1 we had already discussed in an earlier video where i had gone in detail about index and match function you can watch that and see then once again let me click on this index on the formula bar so the first part which is the row number has been fixed now i need the column number okay now which column does employee name reside so once again i'll use a match function right again i'll go up here in the formula bar the lookup value for match function out here would be the employee name right so i'll click on this then i need to find out where does the employee name reside in this header right so my lookup array will be the header row or the first row of my data okay once again i'll give it a fixed referencing and my match type would be zero right so let's come back so what have we done first we are giving it the array or the entire data where our details reside then i am finding out the row number and then the column number right so i'll close the final bracket or if you don't once you click ok it automatically closes it for you and let's see if i get the employee name so there you go it's rahul verma let's manually check this so e003 is rahul verma now if you want to check the number of years of experience you can just drag it down right he has seven years of experience let's click on this and see what has it done now out here the only difference that has happened is in the second match because here the lookup value i'll open up the this has changed the lookup value has changed from i1 to i2 rest everything stays similar now had it been a vlookup function that you had used let's assume that the employee id is to the left and you have used a vlookup now, every time you want to find a new data you would have had to type the entire vlookup function because the column index number would have to be inputted manually now let's say you want to find out uh, let's say what do, department okay you can just drag this down and you'll get the relevant department there you go there's an it you can just do the formatting you can align this do whatever you like with it and now let's change this and see e005 e005 is vikram sim vikram singh marketing department with an experience of four years so that was all about combining index and match function right if you have liked it give it a thumbs up share the video with everyone who you think would benefit from this video now 
if you want to delve deeper into Excel, you can go to the description, click on the link. I have a course which is of 18 hours duration. There you can go and get the entire details of Excel right from a beginner level till an expert level, right? So out here, there are around 35 chapters of uh, on-demand videos with dedicated content for each and every topic of Microsoft Excel. You can check this out and for you, I am giving you a special code. You can use the code Excel20 and avail a 20% discount on this. Okay? So thanks for watching this video. See you in the next video.